Hello and welcome to the Project-Wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course. Project-Wise Explorer for Administrators. Project-Wise Administrators usually do not use Project-Wise the same way a Project-Wise user would. As a matter of fact, Project-Wise Administrators like yourselves spend majority of your time maintaining Project-Wise via a separate Project-Wise Administrator program. So in this course, we will learn basic functionalities as well as exploring other capabilities that are available in ProjectWise Explorer. There are two main objectives. The first objective will cover very basic functionalities that ProjectWise users use frequently. These include getting ourselves familiar with the folder panel, the document list area, as well as what preview pane can offer. We will explore project-wise views and toolbar icons and how these tools can help to bring a better user experience for your project-wise users. As we explore the document list area, we will discuss the different document icons and the benefits of using column filter. We will look at the basic file operations that occur in ProjectWise, from users checking out a document for modification and how users can check in a document once they have complete making changes. Alternatively, users can use the update server copy command to send changes back to ProjectWise while continuing to work on the document. We will look at how documents can be renamed, especially giving users the option to synchronize the document name with the file name. We will also go through the process of replacing a ProjectWise document. There are different types of ProjectWise links available in ProjectWise. We will see how we can create and use these links to share among team members. We will explore what a ProjectWise work area is and how it is relevant to ProjectWise 365 services. We will then import folders and documents into ProjectWise. And if those that we import are CAD documents, then we will need to run the scan ref utility to re-establish the CAD reference links. We will run different types of searches to return the most relevant documents for our need. We will also check out what flat sets are and how users can take full advantage by using it. We will also look at versioning of ProjectWise documents. Understanding these basic functionalities will help ProjectWise administrators to troubleshoot issues that your users report to you. The second objective of this course will cover capabilities that you may or may not know already existed in ProjectWise. By exploring these capabilities, will help ProjectWise administrators to plan ahead and implement this at a later stage, should you find them to be applicable to your organization. This include the ability to generate PDFs from native documents within ProjectWise. These native documents can be your CAD, your Word, or even Excel documents. The ability to view PDF documents and perform PDF markup, as well as sharing it amongst project team members. We will also go through the process of enabling deleted items and how we can allow some power users to be able to restore deleted folders and documents in ProjectWise Explorer. Finally, we will learn how users can properly purge local ProjectWise documents once they have complete working on them. We have a lot of topics to cover in this course and I hope you will enjoy learning them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.